Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, once again, the temperature reached 90 at Windsor Locks uh, for today. It was not an extension of the heat wave because yesterday the high temperature was only 87, but today 90 degrees and that makes 35 days this year 90 or higher. We're way ahead of uh, last year, which had a total of uh, 27 throughout the entire summer into September. We're now closing in on the all time record of 38 days set in 1983 and we've more than doubled the annual average of 17 days. All right, we do have a nice Friday evening to look forward to. No rain showing up on early warning pinpoint Doppler. That's not going to happen at all this evening. In fact, we have a beautiful sky, partly sunny skies over Torrington right now. A nice scene there. And there's a beautiful shot in New London where we're looking at uh, the uh, Bark Eagle. All right, a beautiful scene no matter where you are in the state, although it is warm. It's 88 degrees in Hartford, Windsor Locks, and also into a Meriden. Waterbury is 84, Willimantic is 86, and even Groton is pretty warm with a current temperature of 82. But the nice thing is the humidity is low. In fact, over interior portions of the state, the dew point is as low as 55 at Windsor Locks. So uh, that's comfortable humidity, a tolerable heat, in other words. And inland, we have a wind that's out of the northeast. An onshore breeze in southern Connecticut, so we have conflicting winds in this day, but it's not causing any showers to uh, pop up. But we are watching this storm system that's to the south of New England. It's becoming better organized, according to the Hurricane Center. There's a high probability it will develop into a depression or perhaps even a tropical storm. If it does develop into a tropical storm, the next name on the list is Kyle. But the bottom line is, it's moving to the east northeast. It's going to stay well out to sea to the south and east of New England. The only impact will be rough uh, ocean swells and some uh, rough surf. So here goes the storm out to sea between now and 7 o'clock in the morning on Futurecast. And that will leave us with a nice Saturday. We might see an increase in cloud cover during the afternoon, but overall a partly sunny day. As that storm moves away, another one is going to be moving in and passing by to our south on Sunday. The GFS model has it coming close enough to bring some rain into the state, but other models are keeping the storm further to the south and giving us a lot less rain. For now, though, we're going to go with cloudy or mostly cloudy skies with a chance for showers, and then that system will move away to the east of New England by Monday, leaving us with an okay day. All right, so lows tonight will be in the 60s. It's going to be a pleasant night and highs tomorrow. Very nice. If you're tired of the heat, well, you're going to enjoy tomorrow with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s, ranging anywhere from 83 degrees in Enfield to 78 degrees in Salisbury, New Haven. I'm forecasting 81 for you. All right, here is your seven day forecast Sunday. We'll say cloudy and cool. Highs only in the 70s, some occasional showers. Then Monday, a chance for a late day shower, otherwise partly sunny in 82. A shower or a storm is possible on Tuesday, but they'll be isolated, a high of 83. And then we're going to start to warm up Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Temperatures rise higher into the 80s. And by Friday of next week, we could be approaching the 90 degree mark, but we're not forecasting any more heat waves in there. And for the shoreline this weekend, 81 tomorrow, but only 70. 75, a rather cool day on Sunday.